Well, 2020 is a very different year to any that I've ever known. Um, so in lockdown as we are here in England and as many other countries around the world are, what do you think about the situation of the web design world or the web developer world or software engineering program and anything like that? Um, I would be interested to hear from, you know, in the comments section, which is actually working now, um, what you all think really. Um, how's, if you are a web designer, is, is that uh, going okay for you or a web developer or anything of the, uh, that sector? Um, my take on all this is uh, I've always thought for the last probably three or four years that um, the whole web development thing is is very is a lot more difficult to find jobs than it used to be. However, um, I've like sort of put up my website again. Just I've never had any. Um, I've never had any. <laughs> anybody asking for jobs for a while now but anyway I'll just I'll put this back up um, and stuff like that just to see if I can get like one or two things I'm going to put a, also a new section on where it's um, you know it's got things for like what what I want to do some tutoring and stuff like that um, but it's uh, it'd be very interesting to hear what what you all think about uh, you know how's it going for aspiring I, I did a poll on here maybe it's a year and a half ago where most people don't just want to do things like bootstrap studio just for the fun of it they want to actually do something where they can maybe make a little bit of money um so i'm sure that the same percentage i think it was about 95 percent that wanted to do something in the web design world and I think for some people, it is, there's many ways to look at it, many other things and, and with uh, you know this type of work, it's remote, so that thing won't, uh, won't be affected. Um, you can work from home you know, with, with doing this. The downside of it is who wants, to, who wants your services? That's basically it. You get lots of, um, you know, the, there's, there's probably these people who maybe wanted you before this lockdown crisis and that, um, but maybe not now. The, their money has to go towards their family and probably, uh, I know here in England, I know personally people who have lost the jobs in all sorts of sectors. Um, the economy is, is a real, it's in a collapse. Um, and the thing is, it's a, it's a bleak situation. But of course, there's, during this, even if that is the case, you can start learning things um, and improving your skills in, in many different ways. There's programming languages galore now. There's, uh, Python's become big. Um, there's uh, JS libraries that's always going to be uh, big, but um, you know, yeah, Angular's come on, React and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so what, how, are you got any aspirations of learning these languages like JavaScript if you haven't learned that yet? Um, if you're starting right from the beginning, again, HTML5 is the way to go um, and CSS and then JavaScript uh, for your programming languages and then like sort of you can go different ways. I think, I might be wrong, but I think Python's more uh, common than PHP at the moment. Um, these languages, you know, they do go through these uh, periods, uh, especially program, programming languages. You have to have HTML and you have to really have CSS to uh, in any website. But anyway, I just thought I'd uh, be interested to see what you all think. And uh, thanks for watching this video.